everybody. This is Bo. We're in the Sports Lounge. We're going to shoot this signal all the way over to Chandra State College, get a chance at one-on-one time with Bill Boyle. How you doing, Coach? Good, good, Bo. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. This year in the NFL draft had so many good success stories, so many D2 programs stepping up and being seriously looked at um, in this year's draft. It had to be very prideful of you, and I know prideful is a bad word, but pride for your organization, your program, to have one of your own being looked at. Well, it was great to have the coverage on Danny and, and all that ESPN did for him during the draft days. And, you know, again, it was great exposure for our whole program. You know, and it does show a lot. Um, Ron Roberts said this the best is that the if you look at rosters across the pro sporting arena, not just in NFL but arena football leagues and in the uh, Canadian football leagues, you've got a lot of D2 kids that are really contributing to their program on the field and off the field. And he made it a point they're not getting into trouble. <laughs> and in the NFL right now, there's a lot of trouble on the you know all the time. But you guys, your programs have really helped create just a great air of football out there right now. Well, it helps, you know, and I don't know about the trouble end of it, but, you know, I know Division Two. we see these kids every day, you know, we're with them, whether they're in the classroom, uh, all of us have to teach, and, uh, you know, we, we see them in, in, their, uh, in their football uh, library times, we see them in practice, we see them in their off-training programs, and, you know, and it's a little bit different in Division One because those guys might not have that contact, you know, that personal contact that we have with them every day, so it helps. You know, and I heard from a number of athletes who've gone through the D2 programs and who had opportunities to go to D1 or even football championship series, and they don't regret ever coming to the D2 programs. They actually say that actually prepared them much better for what they're doing. A number of the guys actually been through the combines and said, you know, the coaches in D2 really helped because you got one-on-one time with these guys, and they really worked heavy on instructions and preparing them for what they had to go through. So that's another feather in the D2 programs, Cap, that, you know, you've got a lot of ex-athletes just bragging about your programs. Well, that's exactly right. You hit it right on the head with the personal attention because, you know, we live and die on that. I mean, we're not only do we know a kid on the, on the field and what he can do football-wise, but, you know, for us, it, there's a lot of family. There's a, there's a lot of things you got to know about a kid to, to help them on, you know, and to make sure they get that degree and, and they're doing the right things off the field too. You know, absolutely. And the fact that you're there and you wear so many caps, it's got to be sometimes stressful for a head coach because you've got to deal with us but then you got to deal with making sure the equipment's checked. Even though you have assistants and you have students helping you out, it's...